Peleliu Island, September 4th, 1944. Our squadron flew in from the aircraft carrier Zuikaku a month ago, reinforcing the 343rd Kokutai to face the American invasion of the island we know is coming sooner or later. Enemy planes detected to the northeast. Scramble, scramble, scramble! There we go, there we're cooking. Welcome aboard my Zero for the Battle of Peleliu campaign for IL-2 1946 in the A6M-5A Model Zero. This is a five-mission static campaign, the link to which will be in the description. That being said, I'm only going to be showing four of the missions in full because the first one was just flying from the carrier to the island, and I decided to make that into an intro because who actually wants to see that in full? We, I am a wingman in the 343rd Kuktai, based off of Peleliu Airfield here, and we are being scrambled to intercept American bombers to the northeast of the island. But it's going to take a little bit for everyone to uh, get going here, I think. And I'm going to turn off track IR while I'm in this view, because that looks a bit dizzying. All right, now they're starting to go. I'll just run that forwards a little bit. And it's just about time for us. I'll verify that the tail wheel's locked. Uh, flaps are in the takeoff position. They should be. And I can't see what's in front of me. Alright, there goes, buddy. We can roll right behind him. Mixture auto rich. Uh, radiator full open, I think. The uh, engine likes to heat up quite a lot at full power from the testing that I've done in preparation for this. Now, this mission is designed for stock IL-2, and I'm using the HSFX uh, mod pack, and as a result I've had to do a little bit of surgery on these missions to get them to work properly. Unfortunately, the part of it that's a little bit tragic is that this campaign came with some excellent uh, skins for the Zero, which I was unable to use, because HSFX uses a modded version of the Zero model, so those didn't work, so unfortunately we're stuck with the default one. Ooh, bring the flaps up. And shut the lid, why not? I actually keep it at full power for now so I keep up with these guys. So yeah, that's the, the one thing. And I had to do a little bit of modification to the first two missions to get the aircraft to actually spawn in its takeoff position where it was supposed to. So to play it with this uh, mod set there you need a little bit of modification but nothing too serious. I should be, well, uh, with these two aircraft in front of me and myself should be forming one Shotai that then gets into a, uh, which is the Japanese three-ship uh, formation, which will then be forming up with a uh, whole Chutai here. I think there will be th three Shotai, yeah, by the looks of it, so nine of us. Okay, I guess we want to gain angels quickly if the enemy is anticipated to be at 4,000 meters. Fortunately, the Zero climbs reasonably well. And is this chap the flight lead? No, he is not. Okay. So I think my position is going to be on the lead's port side then. So I'll make my way over to that position. And I think slow down a little bit by the looks of it, since I'm catching up with these guys without any trouble. I'll bring the prop pitch back a little bit. How's our cylinder head temperature? I think we can close the radiator a little bit. Curious now. No, it doesn't turn the, the cow flap shutters are that uh, are the little wheel on the right there. And the one on the left is for the um, oil cooler, apparently. I've tried to familiarize myself with the Zero cockpit. There are some slight strange things about it, like the altimeter is very odd, but I think I've pretty much figured out my way around it. Uh, in terms of realism, which I haven't mentioned yet, with a few little exceptions I'm using full realism. So as you can see there are no icons on this map, but there is a path drawn on it, just so that I know what the flight plan is. 
And let's see, is there a radio beacon on the island? No, but I should be able to find it. So yeah, that's pretty much the story there, and obviously no icons here, full engine management and everything with weapons is on full realism. No instant success is turned off, and I have a few view options enabled for purely for the purposes of cinematography, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I think I'll button up for now and proceed to the intercept. Oh, and it's 11 o'clock. Uh, oh, is that them, or is that one of our Showtai here. Can't quite tell. Oh geez, someone's under attack. Okay, I'll try and stick with my lead for now. How's the engine temperature? Pretty high, I'm not going to close the radiators down anymore. Uh, oh, someone's having a bit of a fight over here. Keep my own tail clean for dear life. Oh, we got shooting. I see P thirty eight. That's interesting. Well, at least it'll be easy to distinguish from our own. Uh, are there any more of them around? Yeah, I see one P-38 right there. And it looks like a bunch of us are going after him. Oh, and he's turning, which should give us a lovely opportunity to get inside his turn. Oh, he can probably outclimb me if I had to guess. Take a snapshot at him from this far off. I don't uh, love my chances of actually hitting him. Careful not to prop hang too badly beneath him. Uh, turn yourself into a plate of cold meat here. Keep your own tail clean. Oh, down he comes. Might get a chance for a snapshot at him here. Or not. Okay, engine's overheating. Of course it is. Ah. It's kind of far away. I don't have a lot of ammunition, so I want to wait for him to be with ineffective range. He can definitely outdive me, so I'm not sure if I really want to go after him here all that badly. I think I'll stay high and wait for him to come back up. And keep my own tail clean. In the process. Whoop! Oh! Actually, we're high enough that we need to be in the second stage on the supercharger. I forgot about that. Okay. If I can stay inside him here, I might be able to gain some distance. Going above or below him? Okay, I guess I need to get closer. Might be a little far away for the convergence as well. I think I have it set to 300 meters. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. There we go! On fire! Well, I'm not gonna linger and watch him go down like a rubbernecking lunatic and I'm gonna throttle back a little bit since my own engine's overheating. Something's going on down here. Any P-38s down there? One that our own guys are dealing with fairly effectively. Alright. Any others? Because I'll stay high for now and give these guys a little bit of cover. Anything up high? I need to build up some situational awareness here. Ooh, who are you? Zero. Oh, 
Mission accomplished. We're heading home. Okay. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. I'll see if I can get formed back up with my own Shotai if the formation gets back together in any meaningful sense. And I guess we'll head back to base. How's our cylinder head temperature? Pretty high. Enemy aircraft destroyed, so I guess that was... Mine finally went down. And I'm not sure which flight this is, so I'll just stay near them, but not actually form up with them until I'm sure. That might be the lead show tie, I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm a little bit surprised that we're still doing the three-ship show tie. I think the Japanese had mostly adopted the Finger 4 by this point. But, what do I know? Uh, are you guys from my flight? I really can't tell, so I'm just gonna hang back until the whole mob forms up and then... No, they're not, because there's three of them. Okay. Until the whole mob forms up and then find my own spot within it. Uh, that might be mine, actually. There's only two... No, there's three of them. Uh, why don't I just form up on this dude for now, since he seems to be all on his own. And we'll roll with that, and presumably head back to base, unless we run into anything else over the course of things. So, I'll see you then. We are back at base, and I am totally just gonna sneak in between people on the approach instead of just doing circuits forever, waiting for the entire rest of the squadron to come down. So, gear down, flaps down, ah, tailwheel locked, and I'll just sneak in here and no one will be the wiser. I'm a little bit curious as to the nature of the battle we just fought, though, just a couple of <coughs> P-38s. Makes me wonder if that was really just a reconnaissance flight rather than any kind of serious strike force. Seems kinda likely. But, uh, if they were intent on hitting the island hard, they'd come out in bigger numbers, which is probably what we can expect in the future. Eek. Anyway. Uh, and we're down. I'll just vacate the runway really quickly here and follow this other fella as he taxis in. Flaps up. And uh, stay out of everyone else's way. And Buddy there should be able to land. Uh, where's the fellow in front of me here? No idea where my designated parking spot is, so I think I'll just shut down and end the mission before I have to find out. I almost certainly don't go right next to this fellow here, since I think he's probably the overall uh, squadron leader. But never mind. And squeak! And there we go, I think that's going to be about it. So let's end the mission and see what the results were. So. Shot down, well, I've, I've gotten my first kill, shot down a P-38, and been credited as such, and have been awarded a sake cup. Ah, so we can have a little drinky after uh, all is said and done here. Well, that's probably not the worst thing. At any rate, this has been the, well, technically the second mission, but the first one I'm actually showing of the Battle of Peleliu campaign for the... A6M5A0 in IL-2 Sturmavik 1946. I hope it has been at least vaguely enjoyable, and I'll be back with the next one before too long. Toodaloo.